little bit of background about UKCA, what it is, where it comes from. Uh, so basically, this is a result of Brexit. So at the end of 2020, the United Kingdom formally completed its exit from the European Union, executing Brexit. Uh, and no longer being part of the European Union means that uh, the direct connection between the UK's national laws and the EU's regulations and directive was broken. There is no longer a direct tie between the two regulatory instruments anymore, right? As a result of that too, that means the UK Rose Directive has its own exemption list and the UK REACH has its own SVHC list. Uh, and by the way, there's signs that the UK and EU SVHC lists are starting to diverge. So um, you wanna make sure that you're keeping up with that as well. Anyway, when you look at um, what's happening here, uh, as part of this new uh, Brexit requirement, since the CE marking is no longer applicable to UK products because it's no longer part of Europe and part of the CE marking scheme, they've created a new regulatory mark, the UKCA mark, which is their own regulatory mark for the United Kingdom. Now, when do we have to start using that mark? That's what's changed recently. Now, um, if we're gonna place product on a market in the United Kingdom, then prior to 2021, uh, we could use the CE marking because they were a European Union uh, member country. But after 2021, you know, starting January 1st, 2021, we entered a transition period where they were no longer part of the EU, but there's a transition period in place where you can you continue to use the CE mark to place product on the market in the United Kingdom. And that was up until December 31st of 2022. However, we were just provided this year or last year an extension to 2024. So basically two years extra, which means that after January 1st, 2025, we will no longer be able to use the CE mark to place product on the market in the United Kingdom. We'll have to use the UKCA mark. But until that date, we can use either one. Now, just a note here for medical devices, medical devices already had an extension to June of 2024. And so that hasn't changed that I'm aware of. There has been a request to extend that date. I haven't seen that happen yet. Um, after July of 2024 for medical equipment, you'll need some kind of uh, transitional agreement in place uh, as far as how to use CE and UK CA marks. Because what's happening with medical devices is they need to go through the kind of MDR style approval and they might need to go through notified bodies. And so that process takes some time. And so that's being addressed separately from the other product categories. Now, this is for product placed right onto the Great Britain market, but what if we're placing product on the Northern Ireland market? Well, under the Northern Ireland protocol, there's different treatment there. So prior to January 1st, of course, you, EU member state, you know, CE marking. But um, Northern Ireland continues to operate under the CE mark even after Brexit, which means that you can continue to use the CE mark during a transitional period. However, if you are using a UK notified body or a UK conformity assessment body, uh, because of this product is a medical device or maybe it's a, a wireless device requires third party assessment, if you've used a UK body instead of a, a EU body, then you would wanna put the UK and I mark on there to designate that this product has been evaluated by a UK body because that means the CE mark may not be acceptable in the, uh, in the EU. Um, so, so this is only required for mandatory third-party assessment performed by a UK body on a product being placed in the Northern Ireland. Right? So a UK company placing product on a Northern Ireland market. Now, if it's going the opposite way and we have Northern Ireland entities placing product in the United Kingdom market, they also get special treatment. They also get to continue using the CE mark after the transition period, right? Because Northern Ireland, uh, because of the Northern Ireland protocol does not have to conform with the UKCA requirements. And so any Northern Ireland entities that want to place product on the Great Britain market are able to continue to use the CE mark. But if they use a UK third uh, conformity assessment body, they need to use the UK NI mark to designate it that way. So that way, they, the European authorities know that, hey, this thing is CE approved, but a conformity assessment body outside of the EU did the assessment. Learn more by viewing the full length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.